Let's fucking rock and fucking roll. So today, we gonna be breaking down how to treat a mental illness from home. Like, like by yourself, like, you don't need no fucking doctor. Like, you don't need no fucking doctor. That's the real shit. You don't need no fucking doctor. So, like, and it, it, hey, but, but, but look. If you need, spe- like, I have to say this. If you need, spe- like, I have to, like, like. If you need special treatment and you feel like that, you know, you need advice from a professional, you might as well just go and, you know, talk to a professional if you don't feel like if if, if anything here is taken out of cortex, you can just go talk to a professional in your own, you know, wasting money type of life. <laughs> but nah, 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 I don't know, nah, I don't, I don't know, like, nothing. Like I'm really on here, you know, finna drop some, some something I made up. Now, if you think it's made up, you think it's made up. But if you know what I meant by I made it like from scratch, then yeah. Cause like, if I want to be a little more open with y'all, so like growing up with me, you know, it was uh a lot of school skipping. So when I skipped a lot of school, um. They tried to say that uh I couldn't read, right? But when they when they said I couldn't read, right, they was making it like my brain wasn't like working. So what I did is like one year I just start meditating every like every day. I'm not talking about it was like no days off, like no phone, just meditation and then then boom, my IQ went up. I became the smartest in my school, graduated top of my, my state. Am and like if I say yeah, it's only cause uh I was meditating. Y'all wouldn't believe me, but like after meditating for a, a a while, I guess it like made my brain function more. Like I don't even I don't even like a lot of shit they they was trying to say what's wrong with me. I don't claim it. I don't claim it. That's what they said. I'm I think they were self reflecting. <laughs> Because what I be doing in my own life, I ain't never seen nothing they said was wrong with me. I said, I could read I could read the cash right shit. I could count. I could read the scale. Shit. That's all that matters. Shit. But back into it though. So look. If you have a therapist, you know, and if you don't want me to be your free little therapist, like oh like you go you come comment here, you can talk, I'll listen. I'll respond. Or you want to go spend 50, like, this is free therapy over here. Or you can go spend, like, at least $10,000 every, you know, two months or some shit like that. I don't, I don't know how. I never had it. I need a therapist. I don't need one. I talk to myself. God. Okay. So, back to it, though. One. One way to treat your mental illness by yourself. One. Practicing self-care. So do things that, you know, make yourself look good. Care for yourself. Treat, take care of yourself. If, 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 your, um, if your peoples didn't exist, move like, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You know, real shit. And, like, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't, like, afford a therapist, then, you know, sometimes you got to become the therapist for yourself. Be the counselor for yourself. <laughs> Uh, and then two, you gotta exercise regularly. Exercise daily, like okay. So sometimes you don't need to exercise every single day. You can exercise two days, and, and then. But you, if you want the fucking that that cut that fucking that 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 you know, then you gotta you gotta do it every fucking day. And then like you gotta do it at nighttime. Like um, one of my neighbors, they was a UFC fighter. So he he said that you know you gotta you gotta eat only chicken breast and rice and you gotta work out one time at five a.m. one and then another time at noon and then another time at night and he said you do that for a fucking nine months straight you become a fucking beast so and my granddad he uh he like a fucking 
fuck it, what is it? He's a kung fu like legend, chief type shit. And you know, so like he told me that if you run four miles a day, that's how you can have like, you know, stamina to like last in fights. So you run in four miles a day. And he said he when he was my age, he used to run four miles a day. So like exercise regularly, you know. How many miles I run a day? She Probably about like a half. Uh, like, look, last time, look, last time, look, last time I ran, it was not from, it was not for no fun running. It was to get gone. So I, got, I got up out that bitch. Got up out that bitch. You when I got home, <laughs> I was winded. But yeah, exercise regularly, like three times a day. Start eating healthy diets. Eat, eat, eat green base or eat, eat, eat dirt. Whatever fuck you fucking like. And then, like, when you eating healthy, though, you could, you could, um, you know, feel more better about yourself. Feel more, like, able to, you know, do more things because you're not feeling slouched. Because, like, say you eat that, that big ass, that quarter pound burger. After you eat that shit, don't you feel like, like, you feel like you, like, you would need to take a sleep, right? So, you know, just keep in mind, though, whatever you eat. Like, say you eat, like, a little smoothie or something. You can't eat a smoothie. <laughs> but say you got a smoothie, right? When you got your smoothie, right, you know, it fools you and you can still be up. You ain't trying to go lay down. You fool and you trying to move around. Fool. All right. And then, you know, it say, I had typed up, getting enough sleep. So start going to sleep like a little, like, you make sure you get it late. They say that you need at least eight hours of sleep. I disagree because I slept for seven minutes. That shit felt like fucking... It, it felt like, oh my god, it felt like eight hours, that shit felt so, it felt, it felt way better than me sleeping throughout the whole night, like that seven minutes, like I don't even know how to explain it, but, you know, get, get enough sleep for your body, whenever your body, like, hey, let's start the day, don't oversleep, because that's how you get headaches, that's how you waste your fucking time in your life, so it's like, hey, Get enough sleep. When your body wake you up, that's the time to get up. It's not, I'm going to go back to sleep. When your body open its eyes, go to the bathroom, that's time to get up. It's go time. Avoid drugs and alcohol. So avoid doing meth. Avoid, like, if y'all want to see a raid, like, I posted it on my, like, I posted it on my YouTube channel. It's a real raid that had happened here. So it's like, if you want to see that shit, you go see it. So look, but don't do meth and, and don't do crack. And if you do do all of those things, stay the fuck away from me. You know, like, I, I don't want no friends with no crackheads. I'm being, I don't want no meth friends. Y'all, y'all keep that shit in y'all in y'all life. I don't want, I don't want to see that shit. Like I had, look, I had some, look, I had homies, right? They did that shit. They start. They was like, you want to try this shit? I punched the dude in his fucking lip. I felt the nigga was. I thought that that shit was disrespectful as fuck. And the thing is with me, I got a, I got a history with my family. Them motherfuckers crazy. So it's like when the motherfucker told me that shit, I was like, "What the fuck, nigga?" I was I was, it really threw me off. So I know how to deal with y'all. If you if you don't wanna if you don't wanna deal with that type of problems, if you do crack meth, all the look, shit. I'm starting to think shrooms crack too. I'm thinking lean all this shit crack. I don't know if it's not it's not if it's not Mary Jane. Do not talk to me about shit. And if you put le if you if you what is it? You lace niggas, like you lace bitches and niggas. Oh, you most disgrace to this whole universe. Oh God, no, no. You know what we do to people who lace people. We tie them up and pistol whip them until they bleed and like, like real bloody. Like like we make you look like you having a face period. So if if you out there lacing niggas, you better hope you don't get caught. By us. <laughs> but yeah, if you drink alcohol, I, I prefer you to drink wine. Because it's like, um, that hard alcohol, maybe I'm just pussy. I don't even be getting drunk. Like, I don't even feel that shit at all. Like, what I used to do when I was younger, I didn't never felt that shit. Like, it didn't. I didn't even feel it. Like, I, I'm talking about, I used to get lit, too. Like, I was with the bitches, like, at the parties. And they'd give me their bottle. I'm talking. 
I felt normal. Like, I ain't feel like shit really happened. So, like, I think I got, like, a spiritual gift where, you know, alcohol don't affect me. Because I got a white aura. Like, I was like, I, I could change my aura. Like, it really doesn't matter like, of you going to a specific space. But back to it, though, because you guys don't even care about what I'm talking about. Y'all came to this video to figure out how to help your mental illness. So, it's a connecting with others that's another way to treat your, your treat your mental illness by yourself start to find somebody that you could talk to in a private space and connect to them with with all the things that you have been doing like connect with somebody who you know into your life and you know you can actually be yourself around practice mindfulness and meditation so like i, I before i started this i told y'all meditation really helped my mind like it really like improved the functioning of the productivity that i was putting out and all of the things that i was like looking down so it's like you know being practicing mindfulness that means going out walks and smoking blunts and being with a girl or if you're a girl being with a dude or being with your girls like you know, sometimes dudes if you be with your guys you know that could go to other problems I feel like it's mostly more mindfulness with your girls like you only with your dudes to get some cash you know get some shit like done you know I don't really like to just chill with no nigga and be honest with y'all, don't just go, hey, homie, let's chill together. I legit told all my homies, if ain't no bitch with y'all, do not text me to come smoke a blunt with you. Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all thought this shit was. I could smoke a blunt with a girl myself. I don't want to smoke no goddamn blunt with you. And then you just want to sit there and not do nothing. You can't hold this. You can't hold this. You telling me you can't hold this camera for me while I go, you know, rap my words? Oh, hell no, nah, nigga. We ain't smoking. You got you got the wrong per you don't know me. You know somebody who 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 was comfortable with just smoking and sitting down. I was never I really was never comfortable with smoking and sitting down. I was comfortable getting smoked out. Hell yeah, it was different. It was different. Shit, it's different. <laughs> shit, it's, it was different. Hell yeah. I, and then I was person shit. You bring somebody, you know, you know what I mean by you bring somebody like hey they 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 chopping for me. They chopping for me, and we gonna chop it up. I got you for free. Shit, that that that's what I was on. I wasn't into. Oh, you into you smoke? I smoke. Let's smoke together. Let's roll this up right now. Let's let's do this shit. You know, what I, mean? I was figuring out ways to get paid, even if it was twenty five cent, even if it was a fucking twenty five fucking cent. You wanna hit my blunt? Shit. You wanna have you wanna you wanna have the roach? Shit, you can have the roach for fifty cent. 50 cent, you can hide this roach. Shit. And then, uh, eight, keep a journal of, you know, what you go through. Like, keep a journal from, you know, all the, the, the mistreating people, the people who treat you nicely. Keep a journal. And when you keep a journal, just, you know, look through it. When you look through it, it it's go it's going to show you how much you've grown. And, you know, as you watch yourself grow, it look back from where you came. This is going to um, inspire like some like genuine uh, confidence. Um, take time for yourself. If you don't understand what's going on, take time. Like, you know, you don't got to be at, at the fucking front line. If you, if you don't know what the fuck is happening, take time for yourself to till you do know what's happening. And then 10 fucking finally set boundaries. Know what line people can cross or not cross. If they cross a specific type of line, right? You want to let they ass know straight up from the, from the, you know, fuck you. Fuck you. Like look, if they cross that line, it's not no I love you. Yo love. No, they cross that line on purpose. You want to let they ass. You want to you want to cross any any line that they even thought they had. You want to make them feel like since they made your line non-existent, Either you can move on, or you give them back the energy that they give it to you. So, or just when they cross that line, you can tell them politely, hey, I don't feel most comfortable when you do something like that or say that. Could you please stop it? If they don't stop, that's when you go fire. Bitch ass motherfucker, what's your fucking problem? Who the fuck is you to go cross this line and you cross this line like you ain't see it? Ah, smack the dog shit out of you. Like, you wanna, you wanna let them know, like, like, I like I don't know I don't maybe I'm that's just how I roll like that's how I roll like I'm I might seem very chill but it's telling you as soon as I feel like you out of line 
it's up and it's not coming down till I say it's down. I don't even care if you if you want to aim something at me, you better hope that thing kill me. You better hope it kill me, cause it, you I swear you better hope that thing kill me. I'm just trying. To... Hey, this is the end of the video, cause I'll be I'll be going places. I'll be going back. What I I'll be trying not to go back, but I just woke up, start doing my phone. I didn't even roll up. I just start getting on my phone, typing. And I started getting all these inspirational ideas. I'm like, shit, I might as well do it. I might as well. This is my channel. It's not like I. It's not like people can judge me. It's my channel. The fuck? Like it's my job. It's my. It's my channel. If it help, it help. If it don't, you ain't have to click the fucking video. Straight up. And don't think I'm negative. It's just I keep it straight, real. And they think when you keep it straight. A trillion, they think that shit toxic. So look, get away from the weak little bitches. But other than that, that that was how you you know, you treat a mental illness for yourself without no like expert. So that's how you do it. If you need any type of help though, like with something specific, you can comment. You can you know get at me at Loki Ferg Instagram, or you know Loki Ferg uh, at Gmail dot com, and you know we could talk about wherever we go to, you know. And other than that, though, I'll let you know how to get get how to heal your own mental illness. Uh, I'll I'll say it again, just in case you know you ain't hear me. Practice self care. Take care, good care of yourself. Make sure you value yourself. Exercise regularly. Put yourself, your mind, in a healthy space will take you to a healthy space. Eating healthy diets, eating foods for life, eating things that is not going you know, make you sluggish. Getting enough sleep, going to sleep on time and waking up on time, not overdoing it and not staying up too late. Avoid drugs and alcohol. Don't over, you know, do drugs. Like, if you're going to do it, don't overdo it. Become like a fucking a addict. Don't come that, or alcohol addict. Don't do that, you know, that because that, like, the the repercussions of trying to stop those things is worse than you getting onto those things. So connecting with others, meaning you know if you go out, make sure you try to at least say hi, at least say hi to one person. Get out your comfort zone and your little looking at the ground, walking on the sidewalk. Get in the street, you know, be about that life. Um, practice mindfulness. Go to places where you just have quietness and you can hear yourself for real. Keep a journey, keep a journal, uh, uh, write down in your journal every name or every person or every place that like made you, you know, have some type of epiphany and taking time for yourself. Go to a places where, you know, you, you, you don't have to be on somebody else's time. Go at your own time and setting boundaries, setting boundaries is you say, look, this line right here, you cannot cross it. This is where I feel more most comfortable at. If you cross it, I'm not gonna be comfortable, and I'm probably not gonna be as polite as I am. But you don't use that word properly. Don't use that word properly. Just go about it and say it in the most like efficient way, like that could let people know you step on my toes. I cut them bitches off. 